So this is a quick uh, overview on what we did to make the laser mount in the latest 16A with the uh, 240 millimeter tube uh, extrusion extenders in it. And uh, what we did is we put uh, two mounting holes here. Uh, and uh, you can see this one here. I'm actually going to uh, just keep running. No, it's not. I'm going to grab the tape measure, which I've got. And uh, to place that, we get the little block that's on the bottom of the laser, and we place it here and justify it because it's going to be justified over. And we mark the hole, and then we drill it oversized, so it'll handle an M6, and it's a uh, it's about an eight millimeter hole. Anyway, it's over from the outside edge, approximately. Uh, 20 millimeters, and from the back, uh, and that's the back inside of the plastic, it's approximately uh, 115 millimeters. Oh, got the wrong one. Let's get that right. 125 millimeters. And then over here, yeah, oh, look, you can measure it. Let's see what it is from the outside. Somebody opened it up. Uh, that's 130. Yeah, 134 millimeters from the outside back. And over here, it is 100 and, uh, well, look at that. It's about the same, 133 millimeters. And from this edge over here, you're looking at, mm, from the inside of the, which I can't take to the outside. Well, I still can't get it easily to the outside, but I'll look at it from the outside edge to that. You're looking at 65 millimeters to this hole, and on this one, you're looking at 45 millimeters. And again, these holes are oversized. We're using M6 screws going to the bottom, one on each side, and then uh, made them M8 so there's a little bit of swim in there for adjustment. Uh, then the next thing we planned was to put... Uh, are these the fives? Yeah, M5 nut and screw in here so that uh, we'll show you how that goes in. And uh, if you come over here to the front, what we did was we drilled a hole. Uh, the hole is here and the hole is here. And these holes are from the right hand side to this hole is 115 millimeters and to this hole is 992.5 millimeters. And the idea is, is that you will put a, a screw and you can pre-insert the screw you don't mm -hmm. have to wait until it's uh, already in the system like so you get another one aren't we all there we go that may be too long that screw but we'll give it we'll be able to put it in and demonstrate it anyway We also added this hole, which is to move this and to mount it up like that. This is what sets the pump speed for the recirculation in the cooling system. So we put it here, we put a nut on top of there, and then this will turn the speed up and down. And we put a standoff in here to push this back so that the, the trigger for the, uh, the mechanical hysteresis uh, switch for triggering the pump to see if we're recirculating or not. This is a pump switch. It's a vacuum or flow switch. Um, we check that out. Okay, let's go drop that in. Uh, this is going to go 360 around. Here, why don't you grab that side? No, it's right now. This was on this side. That much I got. Boy, that couldn't be any easier. That's because the uh, my deer is going on. But uh, you would just go in underneath here with your screwdriver, lock it in place, and then insert a screw from the bottom into that. And whoa, nice move. Oh, it was up on that? Yeah, that's good. Nothing broke. That's a good thing. Now the whole time. Yep. You realize that if you pour liquid in here and you mount the box and plug this in, you've got the laser done. 